In Los Angeles today, thousands of voters are coming out for what seems to be a minor bureaucratic ballot initiative. But the vote has turned into a turf war as immigrant groups in the city fight to be represented. Victory! So there's a huge problem going on in K-Town right now. Tell us what it is. Okay, essentially what it is is that one guy who knew the system really well, he was on the neighborhood council, he put in a petition to change Koreatown into little Bangladesh. Bangladesh. Basically, the top half of K-Town is going to turn into Bangladesh town unless you go vote June 19th. Okay, we're counting on you. Hashtag keep Koreatown. Koreatown, a politically dormant community in Los Angeles, has woken up. To understand what's happening here, you need to know a little bit about local politics in L.A. The city is divided into 99 neighborhood councils. In this area, the neighborhood council is called Wilshire Center Koreatown, even though the neighborhood includes not only Korean immigrants, but also Latinos and Bangladeshis. Last month, members of the Bangladeshi community filed a petition to subdivide Koreatown's councils in two. The new council would serve over half of what now is overseen by the Koreatown Council. But then they revealed the name, Wilshire Center Little Bangladesh Neighborhood Council. Now, this didn't mean half of Koreatown would suddenly become Little Bangladesh. Koreatown would just get a second neighborhood council to deal with issues like trash pickup and neighborhood festivals. A new council means a $42,000 budget, more services and representation. But many Korean Americans still saw it as a threat. I think it's discriminating against all the diversity in Koreatown to have that large district territories for Bangladesh, and I have a problem with that. Thank you. Thank you. We're on the corner of 6th and Western, pretty much the heart of Koreatown here. What was this area like during the riots? What happened? Here? It seemed like war, pretty much, right? A good portion of this was pretty much on fire, mobs, looting. It was just mad pandemonium, pure chaos. He grew up in the neighborhood, saw it destroyed during the L.A. riots, and then helped with a 25-year rebuilding effort after large parts of Koreatown were burned to the ground. Our parents came here and they were like, Koreans that lived in America. Today we are Americans that happen to be Korean. And that's a big difference in how we approach the problems that face us. An estimated 20,000 Bangladeshi immigrants have lived inside Koreatown for three decades. This is Apun Bajar. It's one of the Bangladeshi stores here. So this is a meat department. And then this is usually where you can find all our drinks and groceries. These are some of the things that brings back the flavor because if you ever visit Bangladesh, the stores, this is exactly how they have them set up. Yeah. Um, so these are actually fried lentils. They're very tasty. Jaren Islam and her husband filed a petition to establish the Wilshire Center Little Bangladesh Neighborhood Council. Growing up in this neighborhood, there are a lot of Bangladeshis within Korea town. Did you feel almost like an invisible population? Yeah, for some times, yeah, definitely. Um, people didn't know who we are, even though we contributed. It wasn't, uh, it wasn't the Bangladeshi community. It was maybe Indian Americans or somebody else. Like, oh, just someone that looked different than us, you know? That's how it was. Why does a neighborhood council called Little Bangladesh matter? We are openly, visibly a minority, and we do face a lot of discrimination and a lot of racism, and it does bring um, established things like, no, these are communities that need to be respected, and you know, we value hard work and determination. Yeah, my parents came in 66, and so, oh, wow. 66. so one year after wow, they're, they're the like OGs. Act. Yeah. So they're like one of the first people here. Yep. So they came in 66, so you've seen the entire evolution of Koreatown then, huh? Yeah, it wasn't even Koreatown back then, it was really K Block. Is your upbringing pretty similar then? I mean, your parents came here in 79, so. They came in 79. Like I said, I was born in 80. Um, my mom worked at a, a hat factory, putting these on hats. This is all she did. Uh, I think that was the first job that she had. Why does this matter? Like, it seems from afar that you're talking about a very small thing in local politics. Koreatown is still going to be Koreatown. You know, the signs will still say Koreatown. Nobody who is on 3rd and uh, Vermont is going to think that this is little Bangladesh. I think the main, the main thing is the representation because neighborhood council does affect, you know, city planning and what goes on and what, go, and what doesn't get approved or what gets approved within, you know, our borders. But, I mean, we wouldn't go into your town 
that you've been building and you know doing all these things for decades and then try to change it into a little Korea Okay, but the right? Bangladeshi community has been there for 30 years. I mean, it's not like they came into your town, they live there. Right, but who and so is... If the, and if, you know, just to push you a bit, if the issue is representation, you know, that's their argument. Like, we have no representation at all. That's why we need to do this. No, no, I'm, I'm not saying that they're moving in, but, I mean, it's about who the majority is. You know, I mean, I think the neighborhood council should represent the majority of the people that live there. And one of the things that's troubled me about following this is that while I'm sympathetic to the need for a career town, it seems like some of your arguments kind of border on, border on xenophobic almost. Are you sensitive to that at all? Absolutely. We want to be very sympathetic and understanding to that sentiment. Um, again, we are very in favor of the Bangladesh community getting their fair representation, understanding their place, and doing whatever we can. Again, we've supported their cause and movement. Have you guys started a race war? <laughs> I'm serious. It's yeah, no, hundred percent, hundred percent. But let, again, let, let, let's be very clear. We didn't start this, right? We didn't initiate this. We didn't petition to split up the neighborhood council. I mean, in, in essence, I mean, I guess you. Could, I mean, race war is kind of a strong word. I mean, you know, we're, we're not, we're not, we're not like, you know. But I mean, but. I mean, it's, it's the Bangladesh community versus Koreans. I mean, if, if that's what you want to call it, that's what you're going to call it.